All right, so we have Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. This is IGN's review. Now, we're going to see what they're going to say. Um, I have a feeling. I, I think I know what they're going to say. Uh, I'm going to give my prediction at the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, let's go. Let's get right into it. <laughs> it was early on in Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine what 2. What is IGN going to give this game? rifle rounds alongside my squad mates when I found myself smiling at just how good it feels to be back in the futuristic grim dark fray. It's been over a decade since the original, but Space Marine 2 reinvigorates the squad-based shooter series with seeming ease. The environments are varied and breathtaking. The running and gunning feels great, and the sense of comradeship while fighting with your team, be they bots or friends, can be exhilarating. It may not break much new ground in its genre, but it didn't oh, need to for me to have a blast playing through its 12-hour campaign. I'm gonna give my prediction at the end, just like IGN. Makes you guys stick, stick to watching the video. Let's get this out of the way. The original Space Marine clearly took inspiration from Gears of War, and this sequel Obviously. follows suit. Duh. It's a squad-based shooter starring heavily armored dudes who growl their dialogue. Brothers, our captain's words need no further embellishment. Courage and honor! Either shooting guns or revving chain swords to ward off invading aliens. The similarities don't bother me a bit, especially when one can make the case that Gears borrowed from Warhammer first. It's been years since I played a game that scratched that particular itch, and Space Marine 2 uses the rich lore of Warhammer 40k to carve out its own identity. That's true both in the meaty campaign that can be played solo or co-op, as well as in two additional modes that let you upgrade your weapons and customize your armor between rounds, and are meant to keep you coming back after the credits roll. Okay. Oh, welcome up. On. The campaign drops you back into the considerable boots of Demetrian Titus, the hero of the first installment. It the picks goat. up over a hundred years later and does a good job of explaining everything you need to know, whether you played the original or not. Despite the century-long gap, not much has changed for our dour hero since we last saw him. He's still a gravelly-voiced seasoned soldier who doesn't appear to have aged at all thanks to his genetically engineered longevity. He's spent the I last mean, century I mean, he, serving hey, he's like the LeBron. Space Marine's Death Watch chapter, which goes on the most dangerous of missions after an intense opening level that has you deploying a virus bomb you're rewarded for your bravery and dedication by being brought back into the fold as a blue armored ultramarine lieutenant nothing gets across with that beast up there the story is more than serviceable and it moves at a fast clip sending your squad to interesting locations across several planets it has a few twists and turns that bring it to surprising places and there's even some intriguing inter-squad conflict to spice things up that said the the whole thing is pretty one note. It's all very serious. I get that there's a war going on and lives are on the line, but just a dash of humor, even the gallows humor, many other 40k. No, 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 no. There is a brother. Did you not? Are you? See, he must not be. See, you must not be down to serve. You must not be down. You know, like, what do you mean a dash of humor? Do you look at these fine gentlemen? Pause. But look at these fine gentlemen. You really think they're down to crack jokes like Eddie Griffin or like Eddie Murphy? Bro, brother, they're not Martin Lawrence. Like they're not they're not they're not like these comedians. They're here to get stuff done. What are we talking about? What are we in dash of humor? No, no, no. We're fighting wars. I don't I don't know if you I don't I don't know if you missed the memo whenever you walk through the door. But we're we're fighting for courage and honor here. What are we I'm sorry, but what are we talking about? I games use dimension your duty is to the emperor yeah what you're you accompanied about? on your, your duties to the emperor. by two now squad mates who are bots by default but you now can do invite it. friends to take their place the bots are serviceable comrades capable of doing their part to fend off enemies and revive you when you fall in battle but as with most games like this it's more fun to play with friends which you can do from your home base called the battle barge what's up man how you doing what's up what's up y'all what's up Gone are the orcs from the first Space Marine, and in their place is humanity's latest intergalactic enemy, the Tyranids. These alien monstrosities come in many forms, from hulking carnifex beasts to hordes of smaller creatures that look like xenomorphs or velociraptors. Some can fly, while others swarm across the ground, piling on top of each other to scale cliffs in order to attack you and the rest of the Imperial Guard's forces. You'll encounter other enemy types as you progress through the campaign as well, which provides enough variety 
variety that I rarely got bored of blasting them to shreds with an array of imperial and oh, alien yeah, weaponry. All right, all right, all right, buddy, hold on. Hold on. I understand you were having fun, but blasting them to shreds, brother, that's school bully behavior, okay? You sound like, you sound like a school bully. It's like you, 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 brother, you sound like you had too much fun. He said blasting them to shreds. Like, bro, you, you, sound, you, sound, like you, you sound like you deserve to be away from humanity for a little bit. He said, I had so much fun blasting them and, and ripping them into shreds. I'm like, whoa, hold up. Like, you know, calm down, bro. Like, I, bro, I'll have the whole city evacuated in two minutes. Everybody on school buses out of here. Okay, calm down. He said, I had so much fun ripping them. Hey, bro, calm down, okay? Calm down. The Cadians will make short work of them. Indeed. It's a good thing the guns and melee weapons feel great to use because that's how you'll spend the bulk of your time in Space Marine 2. You can customize your loadout between missions, picking a primary weapon, sidearm, and close combat accessory to start out with. You also Harley find Quinn plenty Valley. of weapon caches scattered throughout the levels, letting you swap in flamethrowers, plasma blasters, sniper rifles, power swords, and all manner of explosives, from sticky bombs to shock grenades that sticky deploy bombs. an electric area of effect. Sticky bombs! There's a weapon for every style of encounter, though you usually don't know what's ahead when you have to choose. Checkpoints are frequent though, so if you get wiped, you can make a more informed choice the next time. You got, you got this one, Bobby Lee. Hitting an enemy with any of those weapons produces a satisfying splatter of blood. Larger enemies on the brief- Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, throw this man, hey, hey, hey. I need everybody to close the entire city down. What do you mean satisfying? Uh, he's, he's talking about some satisfying blood. Are you? Whoa, are you are you serious? Hey, IGN. Hey, check on this man immediately, bro. We don't know what he's up to, bro. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Forget a metal detector, bro. I need eight officers to pat this guy down, bro. This, bro, that's how much of a danger he is. He says satisfying splurge of blood. Like, whoa, what? I told you and I'll tell you again. I'll have every citizen in your city on city buses in two minutes. They'll be out of there, bro. You'll be a Batman villain. I promise you. I'll send a Justice League after you. He said, oh, my God, after a satisfying splurge of blood. What? What? what huh? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. This guy, yeah, he's a nuisance. Of death. Indicating you can execute them with a gruesome He said satisfying move. urge of blood. What? I beg your pardon. Performing executions recharges your shields, which is helpful, and you can pick up Medicaid stims to heal or enable Titus's Righteous Fury special ability, which boosts your health bar as you slice through enemies with your melee weapon. I always appreciate it when recovering health is tied to putting a hurt on your enemies. In fact, just moving around feels great in Space Marine 2. You're a hulking, heavily armored soldier, and walking feels appropriately chunky. But your character is also more nimble than he was in the previous outing, so that weight is never aggravating. It feels just right. Destroy them, then purge these abominations from the face of this world. One of the main drawbacks of the original Space Marine was its drab brown and gray color palette, an ill-advised yeah. trend of the era it came out in. Thankfully, that. that's gone in favor of much more colorful and lively environments in the sequel. Some levels have you tromping through alien worlds that are green and purple and lush with extraterrestrial flora. Others are set in towering urban areas full of gothic buildings with stained glass windows. Wherever your squad is deployed, the art design is uniformly stunning, gorgeous enough to be worth leaving the previous generation of consoles behind. Most areas are active war zones, with human soldiers fighting hordes of enemies both in the foreground and in the background. Sometimes you're following a tank through the ruins of a city, backing up squads of Astra Militarum soldiers. Other times you'll see flying Tyranids swarm. He meant level one soldiers, that's what he's talking about. Worm through the sky like a murmuration of starlings, while platoons of soldiers blast projectiles at them. More than most military games, Space Marine 2 makes it feel like there really is a war going on, and you're only one because it is I'm not it is a war going on bro shots but courage here, and honor you know what it is photo mode in almost every level so i could capture the beauty what are they doing it matters not kill them
The campaign is a fine enough chunk of game on its own, but that's not all you get in Space Marine 2. In addition to Titus' saga, you can play two other modes that aren't so linear, each connected to the other, Operations and Eternal War. Eternal War is a PvP mode, but unfortunately the pre-launch population was so low that I wasn't able to test it out for this review. I was able to spend time with Operations, however, which lets you play side missions that are directly referenced in the main story, but are carried out by other teams while Titus does his thing. I have been dying to call up some secrets. In both Operations hey, and Eternal Menace? War, you get to choose from six classes of Space Marine, each with different loadout options and special abilities. There's Tactical, which can use an spec scan to highlight and weaken enemies. Sniper has a limited-use camo cloak. Bulwark Riper. plants a banner flag that restores the shields to any nearby squad mates. Vanguard oh. has a grapnel launcher to pull himself into action for close combat. Assault has the jump pack that Titus uses occasionally in the campaign, and Heavy gets a bubble shield. All the abilities are useful and fun to use in combat. I'm about to say, they all sound very useful. Playing these modes also earns you various currencies you can spend to upgrade your weapons and customize your armor with cosmetics, which turns out to be great fun. You can unlock a ton of neat emblems and charms for each piece of your armor, as well as new colors that represent different Space Marine chapters. Pretty much all of the colors look cool as hell, and the ornament options let you adorn your dude with chains, skulls, and other details that wouldn't be out of place on the cover of a heavy metal album. Now go forth and lay waste to our enemies. The operations levels themselves aren't all that different from the ones in the campaign, even taking place in the same environments, which does make them a little bit less exciting. There are currently six missions, and while playing through them once was fun, especially with co-op partners, I didn't really feel compelled to replay them, even to earn currency to upgrade my weapons and customize my armor. I'm still eager to try out the Eternal War PvP mode, as well as the additional modes promised in developer Saber Interactive's post-launch roadmap, but at least at launch, the PvE offerings are more a brief but amusing distraction rather than a mode I'll keep returning to. Purged. Oh, my bad, I was muted. My bad. Am I, am I good now? I, I don't think I was muted. All right, I'm good. Okay. Now, he didn't say one bad thing. I'm going to give the game a nine me that's my personal verdict i'm giving the game a nine the thing with this with this guy he didn't say one bad thing usually whenever there's a review with somebody it, bro they always chip in one bad thing oh but the sound was this but graphically it looks like this and this man said he loved the blood the way it came out the whatever um um he loved the the, the graphics he loved everything about it i'm gonna give it a nine a 10 out of 10 for me is a perfect game. I'm talking perfect. Perfect. Like, GTA 5 is a perfect game for me. I think they're going to give it a 9. I'm giving it a 9 also. Let's, let's, see what they, let's see what they give it. Victory is ours, brothers. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 is a terrific third-person shooter with a compelling storyline, loads of weapons that are a blast to use, and a healthy variety of enemies to use them on. It once again borrows many of its ideas from the Gears of War series, but they're good ideas, and Space Marine 2 does a fine job of making them its own. And while the operations PvE mode that accompanies it doesn't currently offer enough to keep me coming back, the deep customization options for your Space Marine do look promising if it's supported in post-launch updates as planned. Besides, when you're eviscerating aliens on planets as pretty as these, it's hard not to leave satisfied. They gave it an eight? Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. For more, check out our reviews of Star Wars Outlaws or Squirrel with a Gun. And for everything else, stick with IGN. IGN, all right, here we go. All right, now, listen. I'm so surprised, bro, he didn't say anything wrong, like, he didn't say nothing wrong about this game or like listen I, or if he did i need to get my ears checked because last time i checked bro he was bro he he, he didn't say anything wrong about the he didn't say anything bad about the game usually you know they always chip in something bad about the game i'm gonna give the game a i gave the game a nine i didn't see anything that was wrong with it graphically looks really nice bro oh bro oh my god the boss fights look absolutely amazing the actual combat itself was nice the story was was really good as well. They had like a lot of like you know they had like some some uh some cuts some drama some 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 turns some 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 
unusual moments that happen. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That sounds like a 9 to me. I didn't really have a problem with the game. He gave it an 8. I'm surprised because, bro, he bro, he named everything that he liked about it. Bro, you look at his con list. His con list had nothing on it. I didn't hear anything really bad about the game. Comment down below. I'm actually pretty surprised about it. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about it? Um, like, think about, like, IGN's verdict. What do you guys think about my verdict? And uh, what would you guys actually, like, you know, um, uh, predict the game? Not predict, but what would you guys, like, think about this game? Uh, rated from 1 to 10, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually see what you guys think about it. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and...